Hello, this is Gamer Pauly with my Let's Play of Bound by Flame. Let's get started. Start a new game. Um, pretty much choose male or female. Um, not a lot of uh, different face or hairstyles. So we'll choose you and we'll go for a short back and sides. You can pop your name in, but um, you don't actually get called the name in the game. You're still always known as. Uh, there's Vulcan, so there we go, let's pop me in there. Start game, uh, Hawk is about your, your medium difficulty setting. Um, the game can be pretty challenging though, but I wouldn't put any higher than Hawk on your, on your first go. I doubt I shall ever forget the strange series of events that led to my meeting young Vulcan. The peoples of the world had been fearfully whispering about the Ice Lords for the past ten years. Though, of course, they had been present long before then. The Dead Walker army, an endless horde of undead creatures under the Ice Lord's command, swept down from the mountains in the north, annihilating all resistance on the continent. Each battle only served to swell their ranks with the defeated dead, and the bloodless world seemed ready to sink into an endless ice age, where there would be no place for the living. There were a few who still tried to stand against the invaders. The elves, who had hitherto remained neutral, and the red scribes, a small group of scholars who believed their knowledge might be able to tip the scales. The scribes had recently engaged the services of a group of mercenaries known as the Freeborn Blades, a renowned company who would become even more so after these events. The Blades were to protect them while they performed a ritual which was intended to change the course of the war. So there we go then, that's the uh, the plot in a nutshell. Music's pretty nice in the game, uh, really enjoyed it. Reminded me a little bit of Gladiator and the music, even this bit where he's, uh, where he's walking through the grass. Great scouts, you can smell them from 50 yards away. So here we are, and just think. Captain wanted me to stay and set up camp. I didn't join the Freeborn Blades to stand pots and take their trains. But he knows that. He knows his men. And he knows his powder master hates just hanging around. Setting up camp. Now that's what I call being useful. I honestly believe we'd stay out of this damn war till the end. Well, looks like the end just showed up. The Ice Lords have really done it this time. All of Bertiel is on the brink. Nothing will stop the Dead Walkers. Soon there won't be a town left to fall back to. Or even a tavern where you can spend your pay. There's no one left to turn back this filthy, stinking tide. If it were even possible. Let's hope our beloved employers can deliver on their promises. If their big ritual thing doesn't pan out, we're all gonna be left standing here with our asses hanging out. Took me a while there, but uh, I think he's dead. <laughs> a bunch of chatty priests playing sorcerer's apprentice against seven immortal mages. Sounds great. Anyhow, you have to fight fire with fire, so they say. Damn, they're here already. I better warn the others fast. 
So here we go then, uh, time to get started. And uh, what we got over here, some shiny stuff on the floor, uh, raw metal. You basically collect all these little things that help you upgrade your weapons and armor, so it's worth doing every time you see them. Go a bit more there. We'll get into crafting a little bit later in the game. Hey, enjoy your stroll. Get over here and tell me about it. Oh, uh, he sounds a bit grumpy, but we'll go up and have a chat with him. A bit more to collect there. By the looks of you, I'm guessing it wasn't just a quiet stroll. So, what did you see? The dead walkers are already close. I got one of their scouts. God damn it, Buck! I've told you a hundred times, recon means observing and reporting, not charging in and fighting without thinking. I didn't want him to alert all of the others before we were ready for them. But what if they'd have killed you? Then you wouldn't have been able to alert us before they were ready to attack us. Think for a second. God, blood. We have to get ready for them. Now that you've finally got your ass back over here, you can prepare some traps. Get Peeler to help you place them around the temple. That'll give us some time, and we'll hear them coming. Yes, sir, Captain. And if you have questions, you know where to find me. Right then, there's no pleasing some people. Uh, grumpy Git. Uh, the location map, you can call it up big if you want to by pressing up, or you can have it small. Uh, just like that, down in the right hand corner. Uh, right, we'll go and find some traps uh, to put down. I want to make this a bit of an interactive uh, let's play. So if you want me to play the game a certain way, um, upgrade stuff, uh, uh, let me know in the in the comments. So first of all, we've got to make some traps. Pretty straightforward to make stuff on here. Choose how much you want. Make sure you've got the right uh, resources. There you go, that's, uh, that's ten traps made. As I said, click whatever you can find, money, resources, it's all worth having. Upgrading your armor, armor and weapons will make you live a bit longer. Uh, now let's go and find Peeler. Uh, that's Buffalo, so we don't want you. Peeler, here we go. Hey Peeler, lend me a hand, will you? We've got to prepare the area before it gets overwhelmed with walking corpses. These are a few treats to welcome our buddies, the Dead Walkers. Booby trap all the access points. Try not to blow yourself up. <laughs> Don't sweat it, I can handle it. I'm not kidding. If you lose an arm, it's gonna be my ass that gets blamed. Right, I'll do it then. Uh, trap the accesses to the temple. Um, so these little yellow markers is where we've got to put down the mines. So here we go. Call up the menu, L1. Pop one down, pretty straightforward. And the last one over here. There you go, right, we've got a cutscene, so something's gonna happen. And we've got an enemy. The hobblers are coming! Now! Drive them back! We must hold the esplanade. Hobblers, so here we go. Just to chop you up. Combat's pretty straightforward. X and triangle. Most of your attacks. Oh, shite. Here come more of them. Now we've got one of the shield now. See if we can kick you off the edge. I don't think I can. No, can't kick you off the edge, so we'll have to fight you. Breaking the guard. So yeah, if they put their shield up, you can kick them to knock them out of their guard stance. Taking a little while this to kill. There you go. And we've got some more this time. Oh, we've got a guy with a bow this time. Um, 
you can find it good in RPGs to take care of your long rangers first. Because they uh, do your damage while you're fighting someone else. Parry attack, yep. R2 or the right trigger to block. As I said in my video review, uh, the locking on is not great. It can be a little bit fiddly. Um, right, got a couple of shield guys and long range. Give them a taste of their own medicine now, I think. Health's getting pretty low. Right, guy with a shield, you're up next. Your guys can take a little while. Right, let's finish them off. Look a bit knackered there. Oh my god, we've got even more. Oh, don't tell me this is a boss fight. Oh dear. Not right at the start of the game with a boss fight. Uh, let's hope and pray not. No, we're gonna go and run away like uh, cowards and run into the temple. Be a little bit of Lord of the Rings where you go and barricade yourself in the temple with the old Balrog trying to knock the door down. Oh, we've got some uh, ghosties here, have we? Some sort of spectre or ghost. Taking a few hits as well. I don't think I've got any sort of healing yet either. Uh, health from about halfway. No healing potions at all. That okay, went too bad. You go see how Buffalo is getting along with the scribes. He's meant to be guarding their invoking chamber. Huh? But Captain, get out of here! Go find Pila for me while you're gone. I'll get you, but Captain. Right. Are you coming or what? Right, check out the East Wing. Let's see what we've got up here. Now I think we've got a couple of side quests as well. Yep, none shall pass and brother in danger. I failed them the first time I played this. So I might go and see if we can do them as well. So what we got up here, we've got a side quest and we've got the main quest nearby. Go and speak to Buffalo. Yep, let's do that. Let's go and speak to Buffalo. Is everything okay, Buffalo? As long as I can hear the mumbling, everything is okay. One of those dead things managed to get as far as here, but I killed it before I could interrupt them. That's good news. The captain's holding the front entry. Hawk's on the west wing. I got the east. Got any idea where Peeler is? I think I saw him over on the east side. You should find him if you head over there. Thanks. I hope he's still in one piece. And, uh, you might want to check inside the invoking room. We just came across some specters. Those things can go straight through walls, and they might get in there without asking you first. Is that so? That was pretty straightforward. Um, I thought I had to actually help him, but obviously not. <laughs> 